Hi, I'm Broomy. Welcome back to Full Boost. Today, Tech Tuesday, is all about this little turbocharger for your water system, the Davies Craig electric water pump. All right, so today's video is all about a uh, cooling system and the Davies Craig electric water system pumps and the controller. So one of the uh, issues when you face with, with racing and motorsport is being able to properly cool your engine. You know, when you've got high RPM, if you're spinning your factory water pump, you may have cavitation in the water system, but also when you go back to the pits, you can't have that mechanical system working while the engine's off. So an electric water pump really solves multiple issues. Uh, this one from Davies Craig is great because not only is it a really compact uh, water pump, but it also comes with this digital controller here. So what this controller does is basically pulse width modulation set up to work with the water pump, but also your thermofan. So if you've got uh, a, a carburetor car, or if you've got a, a factory ECU, or if you also happen to have a ECU that has limited amounts of inputs, or for some reason it can't run pulse width modulation through uh, a, a relay, you can use the Davies Craig electric water pump in conjunction with the controller and you'll save yourself multiple inputs on your on your factory ECU. So what what you essentially get in this in this whole kit is the controller, the water pump, and then this uh, re this um, this full loom. Now I have terminated. Uh, you see these Deutsch plugs here. They're, they're they're plugs that I've actually terminated onto this loom myself, so it won't come with these these Deutsch plugs. It just comes with with raw wires essentially. So you can see I've just I've put this. So it goes to my fan just so I know where, where things go. What happens is you put this actual temperature sensor. You can get different setups with just probes, but I've, I've, I'm using the one with the actual sensor. This temperature sensor goes into the cooling system. It sends a signal back to your electric water pump controller, and that controller then via pulse width modulation controls this water pump. So it doesn't just give full power to the water pump instantly. It, it will basically pulse it and it pulses it slowly so it builds up. So what that means is it, it, it helps to control uh, the temperature much better in this water pump in the, in the cooling system because the water pump's not just running off and then flat out or off and on, off and on. It's pulsing only slight amounts so it helps in getting the car up to temperature and then when it is up to temperature that it needs to be it will be on full max the whole time um, but the benefit of this also is if you return to the pits you can set it so it doesn't turn off until about say say your thermostat open your normal thermostat in your engine opened at 80 degrees or mid 80 degrees you can set it to turn off at say 60 so it will cool the engine right down with the thermofan working at the same time so that means you can actually turn your race car around a lot quicker so instead of it or the heat soak affecting uh, the engine you can go back to the, the the pits have this setup working and and cool your race car down a lot quicker which is really important in racing where you've got a lot of pressures to turn the car around looking at data and things like that so great setup for something like that also for guys with um, carbureted cars or or cars with like exotic water pumps that might be expensive this setup's actually really great to be able to have proper full control over your thermofan as well as your le electric water pump uh, to get the most out of your cooling system so the other, other benefit to this is you can then re remove your mechanical um, thermostat and this can control your whole cooling system again i mean thermostat is something that yeah, it's, an, it's another mechanical component there's there's every chance that it, it could fail it could you know um, jam open or, or jam closed um, which you know which also uh, could affect the, the way your engine runs so you you'll have much greater control over your cooling um, system with this now it has um, one and a half inch inlets and outlets you can see here that are that are um, beaded but it also has internal threads so if you want to run an fittings or braided line fittings on your pump um, you can do that so again uh, we've used these pumps on on several of our cars in the past so we're upgrading this one to go on our project redline but another great feature here we can see it designed and manufactured in australia so like many of the products we like to run a uh, great aussie company and very happy to support support them and here on the box you can see all the different kinds of water pumps they actually have for all different sort of flow rates and applications so the one we're running here is from memory um it just says there the model number but i'm pretty sure this is uh, it's the 115 one so I think that's 115 litres an hour, but I think they do like um, an 80, 100, 115. I think they do 150 now also. So if you had something like a 
big, big block uh, V8 with a huge cooling system that you needed to move a lot of fluid um, faster. Um, they've got basically a pump in the whole range to do that. So Davies Craig not only make electric water pumps in this controller, but they also make really, really high quality um, thermo fans. You can see here, thermo fans have also got um, adapters for electric water pumps. So if you've got, a, I believe if you've got a Windsor or Chev and stuff like that, you see here there's adapter kits for LS and Ford engines as well as Chevy and Big Block. So if you want to run an electric water pump on any of those engines, they actually sell a kit so you can bolt this water pump directly on there. So uh, we had a, a lower quality Chinese uh, thermofan on Project Redline originally when it got started. And I found the water temps were creeping up to 100 degrees, which is insane for a, for a uh, race car that doesn't run that long. But we could see the, the um, radiator hoses ballooning out and it was really getting um, quite hot and I couldn't work out if there was a mechanical issue or it was a water pump what it was. Uh, changed the thermo fan to a Davies Craig one and now the water temps are stable at like 80 degrees. So just that one little change into a quality component that we should have bought the first time instead of trying to cheap out on a lesser quality um, brand um, saved us no end of trouble. So that's pretty much it. That's the Davies Craig electric water pump and the electric water pump controller. If you want to know more, you can go to their website here, davieskraig.com.au. But yeah, until next time, that's it for today and I'll see you later.